So last week I read The Dark by James Herbert. So once again, this is my third time reading a book, for, third book I've read from this author. Uh, this is going to be my uh, video containing spoilers. So if you've not watched previous video, I would recommend watching it just because I'm not going to repeat everything that was told in that video actually. So back with the story, you know, uh, essentially what's happening in the book is there's this entity that was waking up by fanatics that killed themselves and they woke up this entity that they're just calling the dark in the book and yeah so it's just the fight against this dark entity essentially and we're following uh, the main character whose name is bishop i forgot his first name i think it's christopher bishop so chris for short um and there's this one guy that the dark is scared of essentially the entity is trying to kill that guy and bishop is trying to save this man's life near the the end of the book you know there's a lot of stuff happening in the meantime you know how they get to know each other and everything and uh, them trying to solve the mystery around the dark if I could say it like this, before being helped by police and government authorities, actually. So I'm just going to say what I didn't like about the book. So mainly kind of uh, the ending. So once again, huge spoilers ahead. If you've not read the book, I would suggest not. I would recommend, you know, stopping the video right now and going go and read it and, you know, watch the video afterwards. So essentially the guy that the dark was scared of uh, eventually will just destroy the dark. Uh, but that guy needs to die to be able to kill off the dark. So, uh, but he dies like in the last pages of the book, but not like the last three pages because the dark gets destroyed at the last three pages of the book, as I said, uh, but this guy gets killed like 20 pages before that. So you're just like wondering where was he? And now all of a sudden he's just shining bright and killing off the dark, which is something that I really didn't like that much actually. Um, and also I really feel like the end was rushed mainly because once again, it's like three last pages of the book that's the end it ends really abruptly i would have liked for the ending to be just longer because the book take its time like the pacing is rather slow for this book so i would have liked for the ending to reflect that and keep that slower pace with it instead of being rushed as it was actually um, because i really feel like the book was about depression in a way because this dark entity was taking control over people people's mind uh, they were trying to fight against it but kind of failed so it was about kind of mental health and i would have liked for the ending to just be a bit brighter maybe have this encouraging statement <laughs> near the end it kind of tried to do that but unfortunately failed a bit or you know if you're not going to have this hopeful statement at the end maybe make it more like desperate or more dark have a darker ending to the book maybe that's just that's just me because I really feel like the end was easy in a way that you know people were getting better just because of this one guy that just showed up and he, he was light. He was the light. He was bright and just killed off the dark. They still have to be aware, you know, of the dark that could come back and so on. But it just feel rather easy how they solved the dark. This big, powerful entity was killed off just like that. So I would have liked to end back with the mental illness 
subject it's not easy you know getting better when you're when you have mental health problem because it's still kind of taboo in our world not only that but it's you know getting the help is the hardest part sometimes just knowing that you have these mental this mental sickness in you it's just hard to point what's wrong with you sometimes and getting you know asking for help sometimes it's the hardest parts i would have liked to see that reflect in the book actually i just feel like it's just that slight miss opportunity that being said though the rest of the book is really good is gorgeous i really like how this author writes um once again you know not telling us too much not taking us by the hand but telling just enough to keep us interested and let our imagination do the rest so imagine what's really going on like in torture scene you're not going to have all the elements of the torture you'll just see some small glimpse of what's really going on and you just have to kind of fill in the blanks yourself which is something that i really enjoyed i just feel like sometimes gore is just too gory for no reason but here it's all on purpose everything that's being told to you is done on purpose and is just really good i really enjoyed this writer but the the only thing that you know keep this book from pe being perfect is just the ending in my opinion because that was a heavy subject and it was treated lightly near the end and i just wish that it could have been treated as well all throughout the book and not just you know almost all the book and not the end so this is just me once again you know my opinion um so that's it for the review of this book um once again i really liked it i want to read more stuff from james herbert so coming up next week i'll be talking about slaughterhouse 5 by kurt vonnegut um i've almost finished the book so can't wait to talk about this book actually so once again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one